Taming Tigers is about having the freedom to do the things that we want to do. And I think often we don't even see what's available to us because we're living within a box, which in our world is created by the tiger. And that tiger roars and pushes us back every time we even think about moving outside it. I'd say there are three strategies for really beginning to tame the tiger. I think first is, is the strategy. It sounds simple, but people rarely find the time to do it is reflection being able to spend some time thinking about what it is they do want to do and how they might do it. Second is self-awareness, being aware that the reason we don't want to try these things is very often uh, a conditioning from around us or our own little fears and insecurities. And thirdly is courage, uh, is the courage to act, to reach out to other people, to communicate, to get support, to go do. I think it's imperative if somebody's going to stand on a stage and speak about principles like this that they've uh, experienced it at the sharp end. So I chose uh, on two occasions to go and test Taming Tigers. I try and live up to it every day, that's a different story, but the uh, first was to take a bet from an audience member in 2003 who said that uh, if this could help us do things that we didn't think were possible, uh, could you become a jockey in 12 months? Um, which was a good challenge because I was three stone too heavy to ride a, horse, a race horse and uh, I'd never sat on any kind of horse, so that was a good challenge uh, and it uh, taught me some things. And then the second was to take the British free dive record, uh, depth record, down to 101 metres, which was the first Britain to pass that barrier. In terms of other people who've used Taming Tigers, we have a whole raft who get in contact with us who've formed a community now who, who are all working with these principles many of whom have done wonderful things, I mean, written plays, had them put on, uh, done, done different uh, things at work, started their own businesses. Very topical at the moment is Steve McQueen, who's just uh, being f feted with awards for his film, 12 Years a Slave. And when you listen to him being interviewed, he's got his priorities absolutely straight uh, and knows what he wants to achieve and will, will be courageous to do it. And if you want a, a, another topical, sadly, for, this, for the wrong reason for having passed away, uh, example of that, it, Nelson Mandela. There was nothing complex about what Nelson Mandela did but it was just extraordinarily difficult to do. An immense clarity of vision, willingness to reach out to others and, and courage to act in the most difficult of circumstances. And I think that's why his story inspires the world.